so how often would you do this? Um, whenever I'm in burger mode, uh, a goblin mode, um, <laughs> and uh, so this is like monthly, weekly. This kind is of letting thing? loose, um, right? Okay. Um, uh-huh. It's actually I actually do not advocate it because it was getting pretty bad. I was playing a lot of Catan for a while. How much? Like, what are you talking about? A what big, guitar? What numbers big, you putting up a guitar? Yeah, big a big sash. I think um, so. Most games go for one hour long, and I started playing it online maybe two or three weeks ago, and I played a hundred games. What? <laughs> Jenny, what? Yeah. What? So 100 hours in three weeks. Can I? Oh, my goodness. That's like full time almost. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you. I think it's ruined my life. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be a thing that helps us. It was bad for my home life for a little, for a little while. Because, th- Matt, it was. I can't believe you brought this in because it was quite bad for my home life as well. Hello and welcome to Silver Bullet. My name's Lewis Hobber. My name's Michael Hing. And on this podcast, we get a, a friend, someone with some wisdom mm-hmm. to come in and tell us something that they do that improves their life. Something that could be, for us, the quick fix that solves all of our problems. And if you're listening, it could be the thing that solves all your problems. And our guest today is the wonderful, the charming, the charismatic, the mysterious Aaron Chen. Thank you for having me. Um, what a pleasure to be here. How are you, Chen? Are you well? I'm really good, thank you. Just um, living the quiet life. The quiet life? Yeah. I feel like um, you always strike me as someone who has a, I would say, a psychotic calm Ooh. about themselves. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Explain more. Please. Yeah, um, judgy. Well, like no, it. no, no. Just every time I hang out with you, I, I don't often see you get like... I mean, I'm sure you do have moments of mm-hmm. madness and frustration and whatever, but yeah. generally speaking, you're a pretty like... It's certainly to, to from my perspective and someone who's known you for I don't know how many years. Yeah. Pretty level headed, it seems. I think present that way more than right, okay. do that. Right. Maybe because when I get stressed I go inwards instead of outwards. Oh, interesting. Like you fellows. <laughs> <laughs> my anxiety is on my sleeve all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh so have you had have, this is a sort of a broadly speaking a wellness podcast. Yes. Have you done much in the way of wellness? I have focus? been historically obsessed with wellness. I like it at certain points in time. I have done lots of different um, self improvement. What are the hits? Since Tell, high take school. us through some of the biggest hits. Uh, no fap. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I actually remember talking to you when you were like, no, nah, I'm doing no fap. And, and <laughs> I would say eight years was... later, I have no idea if you were doing a bit or not. <laughs> yeah, it could be either way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I, I like the stuff. I like take days off. I'm big into rest at the moment. Um, uh-huh. But you must have had like other stuff as well. Have you have you ever tried like product, like wacky products from the internet or anything? I pills have, at all? No, but I have no pills, I reckon, apart from classic ones. But, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> I did a... Uh, What's a classic co- pill? You know, Panadol, <laughs> Nurofen. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I do the classic ones like that. Sure. Uh, Armor okay. Force. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like a new... The, in, in the mix. Any Joe Rogan mushroom plus supplements or anything? Or? No, one time I did the run of Gold Coast gigs um, and you stay with a guy named Josh and mm. you stay with him and he is into nootropics, which is yeah. like brain drugs. And one time I did like... A, like... I think he said this one, you're supposed to snort. Like, that's the medical way of doing it. <laughs> so it was cocaine. You did cocaine. <laughs> it was definitely a nootropic. I can't remember what it was, but I felt, like, crazy sick for two days. Like, dizzy and stuff like that. Did it fix your brain, though? Or did it help your yeah, brain at all? It fixed me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what is, well, like, I don't know much about nootropics. Is it, like, when you say brain drugs, what are we talking? Like, It's the kind of thing that Alex Jones and Joe Rogan... It's, oh, it's, it's in that brain. world, alpha brainy kind of thing. Uh, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. I think I get ads for it on TikTok sometimes, because um, I'm buying a lot of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Are you into brain drugs and stuff? No, uh, the closest I've gone is nutritional cubes. Yeah, I've I've eaten. There was there was a while back in the day where I ate a lot of nutritional cubes because I gave up <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm right on the edge of being brought around on mushrooms. By the way. I'm yeah. so close. I, I, we, I, me and my girlfriend had a holiday in Byron, and every day I was having like mushroom infused coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, like a mushroom powder. Is and that legal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like the not the, magic mushrooms, yeah, yeah, just yeah. like the the yes. cla- the thing is uh, that all ma- magic. Yeah, um, sorry. all mushrooms are magic. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So, Lewis also. So we'll get to your thing in a second. Yes. Yeah. But um, Lewis also came back from LA once, I think, and told me that someone had offered him 
a license to start a CBD oil business in Australia. And this was, I would say, pre-legalization. Uh, <laughs> well, you're slightly misremembering that. Um, in a much, you're making me sound much more legal. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what? <laughs> I you I said to you, I know a guy in, in Nimbin who is growing oh, in who is growing a lot of weed at the moment, so that when the CBD oil, so that when weed becomes legal, he'll be already right. Ready. And, and he was asking, and he is, he is he has offered to send me quite a lot of it. And you and, and you, I said, what do you reckon if I become like a CBD dealer? And hmm. you said. That would make you a drug dealer. I think dealer. that makes you a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy that the places they love CBD the most are the most rural. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but just kidding. Um, <laughs> All right. So, Chenny, yes. what was your silver bullet you suggested to us? Playing three games of Settlers of Catan online and drinking a black coffee. Yeah, this is, by some margin, I would say, one of the um, weirdest ones we've we've. we've um, being <laughs> suggested, but we'll try anything. Yes. We're keen to fix our brains. So, for people who don't know, what is the Game Settlers of Catan? The Game Settlers of Catan is one where you build... Um, a, I don't know how you would describe it. It's a board game, right? It's a board game. But you suggested we play it online. Yes. Um, and... I reckon it would be better with friends, in <laughs> hindsight. <laughs> Can I just say... But I've never had that experience. Yeah, that's, that, that, <laughs> bring, that is fairly critical to my um, yeah. major issue with okay, what we'll, we had we'll to get, do. We'll get to that, but I want to... Yeah. Wanna... I'm chomping at the bit to be angry about this, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Why, like, what was your experience with this? Why did you suggest this? And, w like, is this something you've genuinely tried before or something you just discovered? Is this something someone suggested to you? Uh, no, I guess, like, maybe it's an antidote of sorts because I'm so into, like, uh, like well-being and stuff like that and, like, getting out of um, the loop, like, not using technology for a while or, like, even doing... Like, I got obsessed with doing, like, sauna and cold plunge for a while mm. that it stopped being relaxing and it started being, like, obsessive. Interesting. And I guess the opposite of that is playing, uh, like... Uh, really mindless and not difficult video game for three hours straight <laughs> whilst drinking a black coffee. Now, huh. so how often would you do this? Um, whenever I'm in burger mode, uh, a goblin mode. Um, <laughs> and uh, So this is like monthly, weekly this kind This is of letting thing? loose. Um, right, okay. Um, huh. It's actually, I actually do not advocate it because it was getting pretty bad. I was playing a lot of Catan for a while. How much, like, what are you talking about? A what big, guitar? What numbers are you putting up a guitar? Yeah, a big, a big sesh. I think, um, so most games go for one hour long and I started playing it online maybe two or three weeks ago and I played a hundred games. What? <laughs> Jenny, what? Yeah. What? So a hundred hours in three weeks. Can I? Oh my goodness! That's like full time almost. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you, I think it's ruined my life. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be a thing that helps us. It was bad for my home life for a little for a little while. Because th it was. I can't believe you brought this in because it was quite bad for my home life as well. I think I ran into you maybe like a month ago or something, and yeah. you were like, "Oh yeah." I've just taken six months off comedy yeah. and I've taken a bit of a break and I'm really keen to get back to yes. like gigging and doing more and working yeah. on stuff. And now you tell me in the last month you've played a hundred hours of Settlers of Guitar. Maybe. <laughs> it could be that much, yeah. <laughs> huh. And what is and what is the significance of the black coffee? It's just nice. I like um uh pour over coffee, it's like steaming and hot and you're just like Letting loose. So when you <sighs> say it, it troubled your home life, mm -hmm. do you mean like it was like you were just spending eight hours a day playing Settlers of Guitar? I was playing too much and some like sometimes it would, you can't focus on other things and play Conversations. Because people are trying to trade emails. with you and stuff. <laughs> it, like I have never played Settlers of Guitar before, yeah. right? Had you played as a board game? Yeah, I've played it as a board game only. Okay. I was in real life. Right. Yeah. And what was your review of that? Is that what got you in? That's the, it was that was awesome. the gateway drug? Yeah. It was like one night I was playing with some friends and I won and I was like, oh. You were hooked for so you have a, it's a It's an addiction. It's a, You're like a gambling addict. Yes. And is that a game that you played with friends years ago or just recently and that's what kickstarted the addiction? Maybe over the course of a few years, played, right. in, played it like a few okay. times. Yeah. As you're saying it out loud yeah. now, do you think this was a good thing to recommend to us to improve our lives? I think you need a bit of yin and yang, you know <laughs> what I mean? No! 
<laughs> I don't know what you mean. Because sometimes you can get into like a lot of good habits and like muck around in that space for a while, but uh-huh. it can become too much. So you need it. Okay. Have, so this, like, a so bad what you're habit. saying is specifically, yes, black coffee and silicon katan. Yes. Broadly, though, occasional bad habits to offset the good habits. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Huh. What do you reckon about that? I mean, I like it. I mean, I think a little treat is um, is fine. Is fine. Do you say. tend towards treating yourself more or being more like the opposite? Denial. Yeah. Treating or denial. Self-flagellation. Lewis. I'm a big treater. But also, like, I, I think I do both. I would say Lewis has no middle ground. Yeah. He is either, he is either um, literally with a whip, <laughs> um, sort of um, uh, Da Vinci Code monk style. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he is... Um, Gorging himself on four hundred dollar bottles of wine and That's eyeing awesome. off thousand dollar shirts. Thousand dollar shirts. <laughs> I, I don't own one, but I've I've been telling him about one that I want. Nice. Which I'm one? hoping he'll buy it for me. A for t-shirt my or a shirt? A shirt, shirt. It's made out of silk. Wow. From which brand? Casablanca. Uh, Casablanca. Yeah. Casablanca, major partners of the ABC. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what the C stands for in ABC. Yeah. Uh, um, always buying Casablanca. That's me. Amani, oh, Balenciaga, Casablanca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think if, if you see the way the people who work at the ABC dress, I think that's clearly true. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford to live the way I do, but th- that's right. Like, I don't, mm. I, I'm a boom and bust guy mm-hmm. yeah yeah like i get paid you, i spend it all do you remember when and then i go broke and then i live on nothing <laughs> do you remember when mm-hmm. co- when covid first hit uh-huh. and everyone was like okay save a bunch of money we're yes. all going in like we're not blah blah, blah. Wait, store your nuts for the winter yeah. yeah lewis was telling one of the early conversations we had during covid was that lewis was wondering whether or not he could he should um cancel his wine subscription <laughs> <laughs> well i'll tell you what my problem with that was mm-hmm. um i Got an email from this wine, this place where I used to drink it, yeah. a lot of wine, and they said, "Congratulations, you've just become a VIP customer." Yeah, and that is a not a good email to get, in my opinion. That's awesome. Like, I don't think there are, there are things you shouldn't be a VIP at, and one of <laughs> yeah. them is in a place where you buy alcohol online. <laughs> like, I think that's <laughs> that's a very important problem uh-huh. to deal with. So you subs- I thought that wine subscriptions, like they weren't. You're not meant to do that. Like, I just thought they that's were a, a scam. You know what that's I mean? That's a fa- fantastic. Um, I want to dig further, dig further into that. What do you mean they're a scam? Well, I never ha- drank wine, and mm. you, I only got them as junk mail, like oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You got the ones from like that you get at the airport. Yeah, the yeah, 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 right, yeah. And I'm like, so this is, one, it's not for me already. Sure, yeah. yeah. But like, second, like you don't really subscribe to anything that comes through your mail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's true. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anything's getting pitched to you via direct junk mail. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but mine was a fancy one, which I went for. <laughs> um, um, sorry, how do we go? Oh, treats, boom or bust. Yes. Treats. Yeah, I love so, treats. I, I live my life on treats. Okay. And I found I, this Settlers of Catan was about as far as a treat as I could imagine. Yeah. Far from or? Far from, yeah. yeah. That was, it was. You did not enjoy it. I, I love you, Aaron. Yes. Personally and professionally. Yes. Last night I had to play. I had to do these three games of Settlers of Catan. <laughs> it's the most angry I've been in months. I hated it's, it because it's not a game you enjoy, or because it's. I've never played it before. Or, yeah, I avoid. I've always avoided playing it in real life because mm-hmm. I'm quite competitive, and yes. I don't like to play games like that with my friends because uh-huh. I know how I can be. So I just. But now you know the rules. And you got a taste. For Honestly, it. I don't know if I do know <laughs> the rules. Okay, so yeah. let's take a step back here because I feel like. We need to set set some con. I uh, can I to set some context for yes. Lewis as a person. Okay, he's right saying he is extremely competitive as a person. Okay. One of the most competitive people I've ever met. Yes. Um, on top of that, uh, the board game version wasn't the version we we're playing. We were meant to play it online via a free website you suggested. <laughs> Right, called Colonist, is, by the way, which isn't a yeah. website I want to be going to. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, and I'm like, oh, great, yeah. And part of it that undoes a lot of the work I've been trying to do. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is all a bit of stitch up by me, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so, but, but, but it's a video game, technically, I guess, because yeah. we're playing it on a computer. Lewis hasn't probably played video games in, I'd say, over a decade, mm. because when he was at uni, um, he got addicted to a video game called Halo. 
That's true. true. Um, yeah. And was living at college and played it. Again, he went Chetty mode and was yeah. playing sort yeah. of full time, was playing yeah. Halo. Yeah, I became a full time. I'd never seen a video game like it. Yes. I'd never, I, video games were banned in my house. Uh -huh. Grew up in an anti TV, anti video game house. Okay. And also no guns or anything like that in my house. No wow. toy guns, nothing. So Halo was like, it was like in like the Wizard of Oz when everything goes color. Yeah. You know, like I was just like overwhelmed with stimulus. Yeah. And um, I just got really stuck in. It was also like, um, there was like a lot of weed around and um, weed and Halo was a good combination at yeah. the time. And I stopped going to class for a brief period of time. Wow. And then, and then I was like, oh, if I keep going like this, I'm yeah. just going to have to become a professional Halo player. And the thing was, because I had no history of video games, I wasn't very good at it. Yeah. So I was committing all my time to something that I sucked at and was never going to be good at. Mm -hmm. um, chasing that dragon. Yeah. So I quit. <laughs> That's so interesting. I quit all of it. And yes. now you've, you've, you've dragged him back you in. You have dragged me back in. Interesting. So you need it. a little bit. Maybe you hated it enough. It's like a vaccine of sorts. To video games, you know, it's like a booster shot. Oh, that's true. Oh, this yeah. is inoculated yeah. against video games for another. <laughs> it has reminded Lewis me. Is like, I don't like that's, that. Uh, it's an incredible that's spin from, from you. Yeah. yeah, one of Aaron Chen's um, medical mandates. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. It was because here's the other thing is that, mm -hmm. um, and this isn't your fault. Yes, but um, the timing of my life at the moment. We've got a six month old child. Yes, congratulations. And thank you so much. But taking like. Somewhere between one and a half and three hours. Yeah. But by, by myself takes a lot of scheduling. Yes. In my, in my life at the moment. Yeah. So it's something I need to plan days in advance. I need to organise. I need to have it in there. And when it, it basically, I haven't been able to do that for months. Yeah. So I was like, hey, I really. You're just, welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> and if I had my choice of things that I was going to do in that time, mm -hmm. the thing that you suggested would be not in the top 10,000 on that list. Like it was just, <laughs> I would rather be shot in the foot with a nail gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did it least, take you three hours? It took me, no, in the end it, it took me about two hours, but I was throwing matches by the end. I was just yeah. rolling to get through it. Yeah, like people I, would take their time on the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it was just the worst. So, it was the worst. Well, like if you'd said play Settlers uh -huh. Guitar with friends, I could have got people around. I could have had seen some friends. Yeah, that's not how I've been doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, here's, I a, here's a question for you. Please. So you are a um, parent now. Yeah. And you were talking about how your, you, the way that you were raised mm. was no video games, nothing like that, like no TVs and stuff. Mm. But that made you hell into video games at one point in your life. Yeah. Do you think you'll raise your child in the same manner or the opposite manner or different? Yeah, we've um, we've just uh, opened up her eyes clockwork orange style yeah. and we're just making her watch. <laughs> Lewis? We're making her watch YouTube all day. <laughs> yeah. Also, Lewis's family childhood was so kooky in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. Tai Chi camps, silent meditation, lived near a nudist wow. beach. Mm. Like, uh, so all... they're the target demographic for this podcast. A, a, lot, a lot of this podcast is um, in is Hopper and I that. coming to grips with our own childhoods. That's yeah. something we, <laughs> we we are coming when we are realizing that um, off camera quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're because um, Hingis and I have ended up in the same place, the same place mm. in regards to mental illness, but from like the opposite ends of the spectrum. Nice, mm. you know. The same yes. anxieties, but I was raised by like two linen clad warriors in mm. coastal Victoria, yeah. and I was and raised, was raised by, by like two Chinese doctors, yeah, yeah who were you know pretty. Dead to the to the letter of the law. Yes. Um, so so Lewis, you played three hours. Oh, sorry, two and two and a bit hours of Settlers Catan last night. Yeah. What was your baby doing during this time? We had these it. precious moments you'll never get back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we <laughs> I we had to get her to sleep because mm -hmm. like I, the start, I opened it up and I've never played it before. I watched this like YouTube tutorial on how to play it. Yeah. It's so fast. They're like, well, you just have to put the settler there and then put the road there and just buy a yeah. road. You got to have these things and then to do the trades. And I'm just like. I don't even know what the point of this game is. I, I still can't actually tell you how you win. Yeah, by I'd, colonizing. Yeah, yeah, something about victory points. Victory points, baby. <laughs> and I'm like, and then there's this like little grey man moving around. I have That's no the idea. robber. <laughs> Slash the knight. Yeah. I, had, I genuinely still have no idea how to play the game. Yeah. I don't know what a development card is. Uh -huh. mm. I was so mad. I was so mad. 
And then I'm just like, it looks... And you're, well, did you have a coffee as well? Did you commit to the coffee? I have to be honest, I didn't do the coffee. Okay. I ha- like... So that's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was slightly more caffeinated at 11 o'clock last night. He might have really been able to understand the rules. Yeah. I know that that is like, it was cheating, but I have to be honest, I'd slept like... You were grumpy because you hadn't before. had your nighttime brew yet. I hadn't had my nighttime brew. <laughs> I had probably the worst week of sleep I've had since Olive was born yeah, well. last week. Which is, again, why I'm trying to born like... Born last week. In the last week, yeah. Oh. Sorry. In the last week, he's yeah. had the worst Le- week worst. of sleep okay. since, yeah. since she was born six months yeah. later. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot. I, I am trying to like split how angry I am about having to do this mm, from yes. it and just me being quite tired. Okay. My experience of playing Sellers Guitar mm-hmm. was, I think, slightly more positive than Lewis's. And maybe it you couldn't be it. worse. It couldn't be worse. Because I, mm. again, have never enjoyed anything less. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't stress wow. that enough. <laughs> yeah. So I had played maybe like in high school, I think. Mm-hmm. Maybe a game or something. I Over the board. Over the board. On yes. the, oh, yeah. Uh, OTB. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, with some friends. Yeah. Uh, just sort of, I, I, and I thought I'd remember the rules. I didn't quite remember the rules. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I started playing the first game, I was like, I was clicking dice and I wasn't really sure what I was doing. And I lost pretty quickly. Yes. Um, and the person in the chat, because they can chat to you, I was playing 1v1 because that's all I could play because I haven't had, I didn't want to sign up to create a proper account. And, yeah, you know, right, I, right. I, 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 It was unranked as well. They wouldn't okay. let me play ranked. Yeah. Um, then... So no one's taking their wellness seriously. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well no, I, I have to play, you've got to play something like 10 games or something before you can get ranked, I think. Yes. Just yeah. to prove you're not a troll, I guess. Yes. But the person in the chat was like, what are you doing? Mm. And I was like, sorry, I'm just learning the rules. And they're like, don't waste my time. Oh wow! With wow. don't waste my time by not, not by not playing properly. Like it's gonna affect your karma score or something. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh. He knows about karma. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sorry. I'm just gonna. I was like, sorry. So I finished that one game. Yeah. I was like, and I watched the video that Lewis had described. Okay. But because I'd just kind of tr- I'd spent 20 minutes trying to work out a game before I lost. Yeah. I kind of watching the video. I was like, oh, I remember this, and it all came back to me. Yes. And then I went, I think, too far. Because I thought to myself, okay, that first game doesn't count. Yes. Didn't really know the rules. <laughs> oh. So you went to play three more. And I was like, I've got to I gotta go do a coffee. Yeah. Went downstairs, made myself a coffee. Again, nice. this is 10.30 at night on Monday night or something. Wow, nighttime this. coffee. Well, yeah, what? Chatty. Thanks a lot, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'd had something else on on Monday night. I can't remember what I had. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I... um. And so I'd come home after that. Yeah. And um, so it was, by the time I actually sat down to play, yes, it was probably close to 11. So I made my coffee. And then while I was, I was drinking the coffee, I looked up online strategies for Settlers of Catan, mm. thought about things I could do. This checks out. Things became very, cl- like, um, <laughs> very clear in my mind. Like you could suddenly read The Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, my history with video games is that I... Um, you're competitive. I've, I've, yeah. I don't just mean competitive like in the way I am. I mean, yeah. You were a competitive video game player. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've worked in esports and I've played a lot of games at a what I would describe as a. Are you still gaming? Occasionally, yeah. Not 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 as much as I used to because the old hands can't. The the <laughs> yeah. APM's down, guys. The actions per minute. The APM's down. <laughs> but you would never have had a period of your life where you're like, oh, I, I'm a video game addict. I got to stop playing video games. But certainly, it was people always have, a part of your life. Certainly, people have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we staged several interventions. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I've never had like a lot. I've never had. Never listened. I've never had anything <laughs> in my life that I've needed. To do more than play video games, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it's like. What does that mean? I, 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 you I don't can have a, prioritize the stuff you have to do. I don't have a kid. I don't oh, have sure, Like, sure, for sure, a long sure. time. Like, for, when I was playing heaps of video games, I was like renting mm. and I was like working, doing comedy. It's like, it wasn't like. It's not like anyone was like, hey, man, stop playing video games so you can go do stand up comedy. Like, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. You know, um, I guess, I guess probably. There was video- no one romantically interested in you. Exactly. You know, I didn't have a go. Like, it was just like. And, and also, I was winning a lot of money playing video games. Like you do oh. money matches, you start you enter a couple Are you of tournaments. Hustling? Occasionally, yeah. yeah. You're like a pool shot. A little bit, yeah. But for you League gotta, of Legends. Yeah, well, uh, for StarCraft, um, you go to like net cafes and stuff. You kind of 
Did you ever go to Korea? Uh, I no. I was. I hang on. Sorry. Can we just go back to the world where you're going to net cafes to hustle cash and stuff? You're not. It's not like. <laughs> what do you mean? That wasn't a big part of it, but they'll have like tournaments at net cafes, right? So do they playing still have StarCraft it? in yeah, Central Park. This is Park. like this is in this is <laughs> 2010. Okay, right, right, right. right. So do they I, still have net cafes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah. This is a real um white v Asian divide. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Network gaming story because huh. I think you and I would probably have a lot of cult. I don't want to say culturally like Chinese culture, but just like like I guess Australian Chinese culture. Yeah, probably spend a lot of time in land cafes. I imagine yeah. Dota League. Yeah, um, playing video games. Is that your experience growing up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my experience growing up every day was a decision: chopsticks or fork. <laughs> 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 but I mean, like, no, but uh, after yes. school, did you ever like what, what? What were you doing? Like, going? Would you ever go to like a city hunter or something? Yes, city hunter Chatswood yeah. was the place that we sometimes went. <laughs> and you would play. But I didn't get to go heaps and heaps, but sure. I would have wanted to. What was your game of choice that your friends were playing? Uh, Dota at yeah, the time yeah. on I don't even know what Dota Warcraft. Is. Dota is the is a the original League of Legends. So League of Legends okay. is a game that's very big now, or sure. was you know, but yeah. the sort of prototype version of that was called Dota. Whereas but, um, my family wouldn't even let us have name brand board games. We had to build really? our own board games based on our own life yes. and build our own pieces based out of plasticine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like okay. the Hobbit family day or whatever. It's nice. like, how does Lewis going to get to school? Roll the six to catch the bus. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to play Triple J, J Drive, the board game. <laughs> <laughs> I, so when I sat down to play this game, I had read a lot of strategies. I had one game that I did, told myself didn't count. I was pretty caffeinated mm-hmm. at this point. It's eleven o'clock at night, and yes. I was like, "I'm going to destroy everyone." Mm. And I went I, and I played one game as as hard as I could, and I lost. Oh, wow. and I was like, Damn. "How has this happened? I don't <laughs> lose video games, especially ones I understand." Yes, I played a second one, and I lost again. It's now like it's now one o'clock in the morning, and I was like, "This is insane." Mm. Went deep on YouTube again. Watched a bunch of YouTube strategies mm-hmm. for settlers. I'm only doing one v ones. There's a lot of four v four, four on four, free for all strategies. Not yes. a lot of one v one videos out there. Um, and the last game no. went for, I'd say, close to ninety minutes, and it was a stranglehold. And I won in the end. Yes. And I felt so empty, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> this thing that I had been yeah. pining for. I was honestly like three and a half hours into this, and I felt. I thought I would feel joy, but yeah. for some reason, it didn't give me what I wanted. That's because you played a fourth game. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the first game where I didn't understand the rules, <laughs> the 15 to 20 minutes throwing the game, you think that counted? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. You need to know when to walk away. <laughs> yeah, all right. Three. Okay. Three's I, the max. I've been telling you, yeah. <laughs> I think for people who don't know the game, which I feel like is going to be a lot of people, uh-huh. at the idea of being like, Building the longest road is going to be key to winning this game. Just <laughs> made me realize it sent me into a feeling of like existential dread. Like I did have this feeling halfway through the game where I was just not only was I wasting my time, but I was wasting my life. Yeah, like it was it was bigger than just this is not a good use of my time. It was that if I keep living my life like this, I will die <laughs> wondering what could have been. You know what I mean? That's what I've realised also. <laughs> <laughs> but after I sent the text out saying that. Yeah. So that since you bullet. suggested this to us, are you still playing a lot of Catan? I have realised that I need to tone it down and it will be maybe a one game tr- treat here or there. But Okay. So, yeah. But, but I'm still trying to find the balance in the life. You can't you, go hard out. Are yeah. you playing ranked at all? Yes. Okay. And what? How are you trying to climb the ladder and whatnot? At one point, that was a temptation, but then you just realize, you're like, you catch yourself because you're like, I can't quit this game because it will affect my karma, but then you realize, I can because <laughs> it doesn't matter because it it's all made up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just playing by the rules of, I guess, like, it feels like you're on the Matrix. Because it feels like about. that is like a, a analogous to what you've, to some decisions you've taken in other parts of your life where you are like, hey. You know, you've taken a bit of a break from comedy. You've mm-hmm. taken a bit of a, you've you've sort of taken a bit of a break from everything. Where you're like, yeah, was it a similar thing? Where you're like, hey, I can't quit because it'll affect my whatever. And then you're like, oh, actually, yes. I can. I could probably, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, it's built 
when I get obsessed with the thing, like it used to be online chess, and I couldn't, I couldn't stop That's playing. That's big in the comedy world. Online chess. Yeah, Cashman plays a lot. Tom Cashman yeah, plays a lot. Yeah, he's good at it. There's heaps of people who, yep. who are getting obsessed with chess recently. Yeah. Should I get involved in chess? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm always looking for something. I'm always looking for a new. See, this is the difference between you and I, Aaron. Are you good at chess? I mean, I was as a kid. I don't. I don't know if I would be now. But yep. again, I, there there are very few games I have not. It'd be good for the old hands. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Because it's, because it's, the, the, Lewis, you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> when you're playing a game, uh, when you're playing an APM, oh God, when you're playing a game like League of Legends or StarCraft that has yeah. what they call good micromanagement, where you need to click, you're talking like 300 moves a second. That's what, that's what you need to be clicking. Chess well, is. You have to click 300 times a second. Yeah. That's what, that's what the, the, the top no. pros. The top 300 pros. 300 times per second. That's just. Sorry. Not- Per minute. 300 times per minute. Oh, sorry, sorry. God. Okay. Sorry, apologies. Say. Apologies. 300 APM. Sorry. 300 times a minute. What's that? Three times a second. It's about five times a second. Yeah. Um, okay. Yep. The, your, 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 your average APM oh, for, yeah. a, for a professional gamer yeah. is, is towards 300, right? Damn. Whereas chess, is what are you doing? Is it just click, 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 or do you have to know what you're doing? You've got to know what you're doing. With purpose. It, yeah, it's clicking with purpose. Oh, all right. There's, there's APM and there's EAPM, which is effective actions is, per minute. Um, <laughs> is, there a, <laughs> is there a version of the, where people just see how fast they can click? That There are games like that. They are not great spectator sports. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a game huh. called, I think there's a famous game called Cookie Clicker. Anyway, we don't need to. We don't need to. Interesting. Um... But yeah, I'm so, so, unlike you, Aaron. I'm always looking for a new obsession. I'm always oh, like, really? I could spend six months of my life really obsessing over this thing, yes. and then making it my not my personality, but certainly a, a part of my personality for six uh-huh. months. And not, I worry that that is swinging possible. it out. Yeah. Um, so I could really go deep. But on gaming set. is your thing. Like the things that I try to get obsessed with are not like gaming style things. It could be yeah. anything for me. Yeah. It could be anything. It could be. I mean, often it is a video game or something. Um, what games? were you doing during lockdown? I was um, just doing a lot. I mean, I was, was we were doing the radio show and losing our minds doing that. Mm-hmm. Yes. I was the video games I was playing during lockdown. Well, you, that was actually a social thing. Yeah. So during lockdown, some friends and I um, would we were doing Twitch streaming and stuff, and we were kind of playing like I don't know Red Dead Redemption or something together mm-hmm. as a group, and we'd play multiplayer, and it was like a, more of a hanging out on a Discord, chatting and hanging out. Yeah. Rather than we'd play Fortnite or something. But it was more of a social thing than a, this is different. When I talk about my obsessive gaming, what I'm talking about is I want no friends. I want a faceless person from the internet to challenge me and for me to crush them. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, which I know is not a great part of my personality, <laughs> but, um, you know. It's fine. Yeah. People have worse. Well, yeah. And also, like, they, they, they're coming with the same energy towards me. Sure, sure, sure. You know, you're stepping into the dragon's stand. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I don't know how much more I can say about this other than I hated it. Okay. Yeah, I hated it. It sounds like you hate it. I don't like it, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And I, um, I kind of, yeah, it really, it really, it really bothered me that, as I said, about 80% of it is not your fault. Mm -hmm. 80% of it is just the fact that you were tired. I was tired. and Scheduling. It, well, here's the other thing is that... Um, I didn't know when you would do it. That's no, no, true. no. I yeah, was but picturing like, a beautiful weekend morning that you could waste away. Th- those don't exist. My, <laughs> yeah. my, as in, like, they are beautiful, my weekends, but for de- very different reasons. Like, I'm yes. up at five o'clock with uh, Olive. Nice. And there's no there's no room for Settlers of Catan between 5 a.m. and me going to work. Mm-hmm. So it's ha- it's got to be after she goes to bed, which leaves me with a very small window of... Lewis alone time. Yes, and um, and last night when I did it, um, Hing was going to see the to the premiere of Oppenheimer, yeah. which I was also invited to, but couldn't go because I had to go home to play Settlers of Catan for this podcast. <laughs> so there sounds are... like crazy addicted behavior if you actually <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's um, so I was underslept. It was a game I hated and mm-hmm. didn't understand. Mm. It was it. A, a time that was so precious to me and my time was being eaten away and I wasn't going to do something which I would have really loved, which was going to see the film Oppenheimer. Well, mm. maybe so, maybe work is your Catan in a way because you felt like you had to play Catan, otherwise you'd lose karma points at work. Interesting. Wow. Now, I will say they are vaguely different <laughs> because playing C- Catan doesn't help you pay your rent. Yeah, no. that is a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're top. Top five. Yeah, unless, <laughs> unless you really go all in. So you climb those Jenny points. Uh, so not a silver bullet for you? I don't know. I don't think I've ever had... 
I don't know what the lowest bullet is. Like, we haven't really ever had it's to the, plumb the, the depths of the, what the worst kind of bullet the, is. It'd be the most common or the least, the cheapest metal. So what are we talking here? An aluminium? Chocolate? Yeah, licorice? No, licorice isn't a metal. I know, but it, oh, you can but get a licorice bullet. bullet. Licorice bullet's good. A licorice, no, because some people but like I, a licorice bullet. I, I hate licorice. I think, it, I, I think it'd be, a, I think it'd be aluminium. I think you've got to go. It's a blank. Ineffective bullet for no reason. It's a, yeah, a blank. it's a blank. <laughs> blank. I honestly, it's Shooting the blanks. worst thing we've done. Yeah, I've, I hated it so much. Um, mm-hmm. It made me think a little less of you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being honest. Yeah, I want to be honest with you. <laughs> um, whereas for me. <laughs> As I said, I'm always looking for a new obsession. You've got a little glint in your eye. I worry that you might go and play Settlers of Catan, like, tonight. I will certainly finish my game so I can start playing ranked. I'll see how I go there. But, like, <laughs> there's only, there's like, you're the only, like, I think I've played four technically now, so I've got six more to go, then I can play my, then I can start playing ranked. this guy bad father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you, do, do, just quickly, do you play in the 1v, one-on-one, or do you I play? I play four player. Four, yeah, four player. That's, that that seems to be the more experience. chaotic and fun version of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, nothing more but, chaotic than building roads against three people <laughs> instead of one. Whoa! Look out there, crazy man! <laughs> it's crazy. Don't well, build a road too fast! <laughs> well, obviously, oh, if you no, do... You if might you, have to upgrade your settlements to a bigger settlement! It's actually called a city, Lewis. And also, if you build roads too fast, then you run out of both bricks and wood as resources that you need for building settlements. So it's actually about resource management. That's what the game's about. People think it's about politics, it's actually about resource management, okay? And that's, that, and that's the genius of the game. <laughs> I hate it. I've never heard it described so beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, Aaron Chen, yeah. um, thank you for joining us on Thanks um, for having me. This, on Silver Bullet. Um, I think this is probably a pretty low rating, just on average, pretty low rating, given that, um, Lewis, you hated it, hated and Aaron, it. you've given up, <laughs> and I'm the lone convert to Settlers of Qatar. But even your conversion has the tone of a dangerous addiction, not a joyous moment. I don't see that they're different. (laughs) The things that make (laughs) addictions great is that they're joyous. Otherwise, why would you do them? I guess that's true. I can't argue with that. (laughs) That's why we get addicted to things, Lewis. Because they're sweet. They're sweet, sweet, sweet for a while. (laughs) And um, I'm sure it'll continue like that. Six months till you burn out is totally fine (laughs) in my specific context. Um, Aaron Chen, uh, thank you so much for joining us today on uh, Hopper and Hing Silver Bullet. Yes. Uh, Do you have anything you want to plug? Love to plug... The new drive hosts. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Is it you? Are you <laughs> taking over the show? <laughs> I am doing it with Waleed Ali. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> That's crazy because I used to do the show with Nazim. <laughs> and you and I Same and, he and, and, and he and Waleed always get confused for each other. <laughs> They're trying to bottle the yeah. electricity again. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, maybe t- um, Taskmaster if you want to watch yeah. that. I've yeah. not seen it, but I've heard through the grapevine that yeah. you were extremely funny in Taskmaster. Thank you very People much. People called it a crush. Uh, the person, the, the the phrase they used was, he was a crush machine. Who said uh, that? Uh, I'll tell you later. But a, a, a pretty high up person in the Taskmaster world told me that. If you have enjoyed Silver Bullet, um, why don't you send us an email, silverbullet at abc.net.au. You could even uh, suggest to us your own Silver Bullet that we could uh, try. Now, I would ask that it isn't. Drinking, drinking black coffee and um, uh, playing three games of Settlers of Catan. Oh, because the next morning I had to get up to go to the dentist at like 8 o'clock. Anyway, I was fucked. I totally fucked my life. <laughs> yeah, he had to get... Uh, he'd been going to like this really super dentist, an endodontist, mm. to get like a br- broken tooth yeah. m- moved up. Um, and I have to say, do you know what? I was clenching so hard playing Settlers of Catan, I could feel my teeth about to crack. You got TMJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. It's all happening. So this has been, I guess, an illustrative... Um, I guess this has been illustrative that not all silver bullets work and some can be actively harmful. Well, I would also say in future, let's try to get people who, um, do get people to bring in something they actually think is good. <laughs> <laughs> I did at one point. Think it was, it was nice. <laughs> uh, Aaron Chen, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. If you want to listen to Silver Bullet, please do so on, uh, I you know Spotify, Apple, the ABC Listen app. Um, uh, I don't think we're on. I don't think we're on Deezer yet. We're not on Deezer. We re- I, we uh, we you we will never be on Deezer. You know what you did, Deezer. <laughs> um, you can also watch us on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see you next week.